for me, this was not a TV show. This is very much, this is a movie. And it's a movie that's just, a, it's a long movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was awesome. We we shot at several different locations. It wasn't just like, oh, we're in one little studio. No, this thing is, you're going to see Di Di Disney. There's a reason why this show is doing so well. You play Chris Kringle Moreno in the Santa Claus of season two, which is now streaming on Disney Plus. So how would you best describe your character? Uh, you know what? It's pretty much like me. Uh, I, they, there was not a whole lot of, uh, you know, aside from changing my clothes, uh, the personality is very similar. Like I, I thought that, you know, they, they would wind up putting a, a, a funny hat or something on me to kind of disguise the fact that, I, you know, I'm a bald dude and that maybe they'd make me shave the goatee, but they let me keep everything. And it's not like I even had to change my voice or the personality is different at all. I mean, it's just, it's me with overalls. Uh <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I got. To, I, I still got to be a Mexican too. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they didn't say, "Hey, you know, could you, uh, you know, you, you change it up?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you also, and your character runs like a Christmas theme kind of amusement park. Yeah, That's so. the only difference is my character does have a business. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. A, a Santa Claus amusement park, which is like an old school Santa's village. I don't know if you're familiar. Remember that vaguely remember that yeah yeah I, I know what you're talking about there but you know in these first two episodes um your character works closely with the mad santa played by eric stone street so how was it working with him oh man so uh you know we were calling it our little reunion because we we did get to uh work together a little bit on uh modern families so but this time yeah. around very different uh situation very festive environment and um you know I didn't recognize him most of the time. You know, he's, he plays that character so well, and yeah. there's so much on him, you know, with the beard and the hat and the, the makeup. It's like you, you don't realize it's him. Uh, the, the only time it was like normal was when we were in hair and makeup. And for me, hair and makeup is this, and for him, it's about an hour. But uh, <laughs> yeah, super yeah. cool hanging out. We would talk about comedy. We would talk about wrestling. We're both big wrestling fans. Mm. And apparently awesome. he knows way more wrestlers than I do. <laughs> which is no problem telling people. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you know, and your character, Chris, he's all about the Christmas spirit. But do you think you would make a good Santa Claus? Honestly, I think I would because in, you know, uh, in real life, I'm, I'm a very generous giving person. And I think that's very much the Santa spirit. And I love cookies and milk. So, yeah, uh, you put a beard on me, give me a hat and a bag full of goodies. And I'm happy to give them out and make people happy. Absolutely. And this is all part of the Santa Claus universe. Did you watch the movies um, when they first came out? Yes. Uh, I, that You know, it's funny. It's like uh, I'm surprised more people haven't. You know, a lot of people think, oh, this is a brand new thing. Mm, yeah. And, and, you know, Tim Allen's character has been around since 1994. And I was graduating yeah. from high school at the time. And that's when uh, when the original The Santa Claus came out, the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. And that was such, those movies were a big hit. And then season one of the Santa Clauses was also very successful. And season two is doing so well right now. And that leads me to the last question. There's only a few episodes remaining before this season ends. What can fans expect from the rest of the season? Man, you can expect a lot of awesome special effects because uh, this is not for me. This is not a TV show. This is very much, this is a movie. And it's a movie that's just, a, it's a long movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was awesome. We we shot at several different locations. It wasn't just like, oh, we're in one little studio. No, this thing is, you're going to see Di Di Disney. There's a reason why this show is doing so well. Uh, it's freaking awesome. You need to check it out. Um, I, I can't say enough good things about it without spoiling it. Absolutely love it. Well, Gabe, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it and continued success to you.